Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. When Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, all of his disciples fled, even Peter, who had been ready to take up a sword to defend Jesus. Later on, Peter and John both followed Jesus to the mock trial at the court of Caiaphas, the high priest, where John was known to the high priest. But it was Peter who denied any association with Jesus and then left in guilt and shame. Along with all his acquaintances, many women who had followed Jesus during his ministry now followed him to the crucifixion and watched, but from a distance. Three women were bold enough to be near Jesus as he died. Only one man joined them, Jesus' best friend, John. John later recorded what happened. Standing near the cross were, were Jesus' mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother standing there beside the disciple he loved, he said to her, Dear woman, here is your son. And he said to this disciple, Here is your mother. And from then on, this disciple took her into his home. For three years during his ministry, Jesus had warned the disciples that he would die. Even though they didn't use the term advanced directive in Jesus' day, why did he wait until now to make this arrangement for the care of his mother? Despite Jesus trying to prepare his followers for his inevitable providential death, they couldn't seem to comprehend it. Even his mother, who had been warned that a sword will pierce even your own soul, could not have imagined seeing her son naked at birth, naked at death, dying on a cross. It's like family not wanting a beloved relative to discuss their final will because they expect and want that person to live for many more years. But when the person is actually dying, then they are ready to listen. When Jesus saw them, exactly what did he see? He saw those closest to him weeping. They wanted to look at his face, but they had to keep wiping away the tears to see clearly. When Jesus came to the tomb of Lazarus, where everyone was grieving and weeping, Jesus wept. So certainly he spoke with compassion to his mother and his best friend. It wasn't merely for the utility of taking care of his bereaved mother. Those closest to a loved one who dies are the best able to comfort each other. Mary and John could comfort each other at the foot of the cross in a way that mere acquaintances would never understand. Lord Jesus, we groan with all creation, not because you are dead, but because we long for you to return to earth. We are grateful for the comfort that we can share with each other, the promise of your return, so we will always be with you. Amen.